All right, so I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to hide your header and footer on your Wix Studio website. Now, when you click on your header, which is, as you can see, selected, it shows a green border around it, which means it's a global section. And the same thing also happens to your footer when you select your footer. As you can see, it has a green border, which means it's a global section. That means it shows on every page of your website, or at least selected pages of your website. Or you can add them to different pages of your website. And when you edit it from one place, the settings, and design is applied to all the other pages where it's currently added and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to hide them from any pages of your website while keeping them visible on selected pages now if you're new to this channel my name is walter and this is wix ideas i simplify wix and wix studio design and development by teaching tutorials like this on youtube and if you haven't subscribed already i will really encourage you to subscribe because there are tons and tons of videos that you can learn from from my channel and also turn on the bell notification to be alerted when i release videos like this and if you're a returning viewer thank you very much for watching again and i also encourage you if you haven't subscribed already please don't forget to subscribe this again is going to be a massive help to my channel i just going to push these videos across to wix and wix studio designers around the world now without wasting any more time let's get started now as i mentioned earlier this green border means i've selected my header and it's time for me to hide this header from my home page now you can head over to the global sections and this is where you find your headers now if you have multiple headers what you're looking out for is this check mark which means that this header is currently added to the current page where you're on the same thing goes with the footer once you see the green check mark then that footer is added to the current page where you're on now to hide this header click on this icon here and go to add to now you can see all the checked pages of your website that means that this header has been added to the checked pages of your website now if you want to hide this header from a specific page on our website go ahead and click on the page to uncheck the header from that page and then apply now once you click on apply the header is completely hidden from that specific page and the check mark is also removed which means that this header is currently not added to that page now when you hover you can also see that you can add the header back to that page by clicking on this add to page now once you do that it's going to add the header back to your home page now a little difference here as you've noticed earlier we had a full screen header on our page that means that the header was just overlaying on this section now to add that back make sure that your header is selected and open up your inspector then head over to the header settings and go to the scroll effect and click on freeze and simply select next section now that's going to bring back the effect that we had earlier where the header was sitting comfortably on the next section now let's go ahead and hide our footer now here is the footer and we can again do the same thing by heading to the global sections and as you can see the footer is currently added to this page i can go ahead and click on this icon again and go to add to and scroll down to the page where you don't want to see the footer on now click on the home page and click on apply now the footer has been removed from our home page and as you can see from this section the green check mark has been hidden which means that the footer has been hidden from our page now we can also do the same thing for the header by going back to r2 and just make sure that the header is also hidden from our home page now these two global sections where the headers and footers are currently not visible on this page now from this section you can also choose any other pages of your website where you don't want to show the header or footer now for the accessibility statement page you can also uncheck that and click on apply and the same goes for your footer you can also go ahead and uncheck the accessibility statement and hide the footer from the accessibility statement page so let's quickly visit that page and take a look at what we have now as you can see we don't have a header nor a footer on this page but again you can always go back and easily add the header and footer to any pages of your website so this is how you hide or show your header and footer on any specific page of your website I hope this tutorial was a great help for you. If it was, please don't forget to subscribe and again, turn on your notification to be alerted of future videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next tutorial.